Today, we're gonna go over some Notion shortcuts to make your life a little bit easier inside of the program. I mostly want to share with you some use cases for these shortcuts, not just going through the long list of keyboard shortcuts that exist for Notion. So let's just get right into some of these examples. This is the ultimate guide to Notion shortcuts, a resource I created and one that you can duplicate into your own workspace via the link in the description below. Now we're going to go through only some of the more valuable shortcuts, but you can look at more here. The first shortcut is opening up a brand new window in Notion with Command Shift N for new window. This is one I use a lot for more complicated workflows, especially for research where I need multiple windows to look at at once. Now Notion just created a new feature called tabs. To open up a tab from an existing link, I have a page here called working with text. I wanna open this up in a new tab. I'm just going to press down command and click the link. This will create a new tab at the top of the window. And of course I can navigate to this new tab via my cursor, or I could use a keyboard shortcut. Command one for going to the first tab, command two for the second, command three for the third, and so on. I can also create a brand new tab with command T for tab. This will create a new tab at the beginning of the tab order. And if I want to change this page in my new tab working with text to a different page, I'm going to use something called a page switcher. And to bring up the page switcher, we're going to use command P and this will bring up your search portal. I'm gonna look for Notion template V2 to switch this page to. What you can also do is change your window from light mode to dark mode with another really handy shortcut, Command Shift L, and Command Shift L again to go back. Now let's take a look at creating and linking pages in Notion. There are four ways to do this. To open up the block menu quickly, I'm going to select the forward slash key on my keyboard. This will bring up a large selection of every block Notion has to offer. Or I can search for a specific block like page. So this will lead me directly to the new page I created where I can name it, maybe chapter one ideas, give it an icon, and now you'll notice that the parent page via the breadcrumbs at the top is working with text. I can click that to navigate back or use a keyboard shortcut, Command Shift U. If I wanna to navigate to a page I was previously in, I can also use a shortcut, Command Open Bracket and Command Close Bracket to go forward. Let's take a look at another way to create a sub page in Notion, and that's using the inline link. I'm gonna use the plus symbol and just start typing. Chapter one, ideas. And you'll notice the first option up here at the top is new chapter one ideas sub page. I'm just gonna press enter, and now I can add more text to this block. Now it doesn't automatically send me to the new page I created, but I can click through and maybe give this an icon as well. And again, that parent page is going to be the page we were just in. And to quickly navigate, I'm gonna go Command Shift U. So both of these are sub pages just in different styles. One other way to create a sub page or to link to an existing page is with the open bracket key twice. This will also bring up that search portal to link to a page. And I'll have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to change the configuration to a sub page. So if you are trying to create a sub page, it's gonna be a lot easier to use that plus symbol. Okay, so to quickly mention a page, I recommend using the at symbol. And I'm going to search for a page called chapters. Chapters is a database page I created right down here to collect chapter pages in a book. So I'm gonna search for that chapters and it should show up at the top. 
just like that. And again, this is an inline link. I can also create a new page in Notion just with my keyboard. So I'm gonna create a page called chapter one and I wanna send it quickly to my chapters database. To do that, I'm going to select Command N for new page. This is going to bring up a page preview window. So I'm not creating a sub page in working with text. I'm just creating a general new page for my workspace. Let's call it chapter one. Now, if I wanna quickly send it to another location or a specified location in my workspace, I can either click this link up here, add to, and the default should be private pages, or I can not use my cursor at all and still just use my keyboard. And I'm going to select Command Shift P to quickly bring up that box and search for the location I wanna send this to, chapters, and press enter. Now you'll notice that it has moved chapter one to the chapters database and all of the properties that are included in that database have shown up. Let's open this up as a full page. I can either click this button up here at the top left hand corner or use another shortcut command return or command enter. And again, chapter one is now inside of the chapters database, which means its parent page is chapters. And again, I can navigate to the parent page with command shift U. Again, I'm gonna use the page switcher Command P to go back to that working with text page. Because it is a recent page I used, it should be at the top of my results. And I have a paragraph down here that I wanna send off to that new chapter one page. All I need to do is make sure my cursor is within this block and press escape to quickly highlight a block. And then I can use that Command Shift P again, but instead of moving the page I'm in, I'm gonna move this highlighted block to chapter one. There should be an alert that says moved one block to chapter one. In that alert, there was a visit button, but I could also just quickly use the page switcher and in recent pages, go to chapter one to see my new block inside of it. Now I want to add a header above this paragraph. So I'm going to use a markdown method, hashtag space to create heading one, two hashtag space for heading two, and three for heading three. Notion only goes up to three headings. So let's do two, and I'm gonna call this chapter Ella in a small village. And below this block, I wanna create another block quickly, so I'm going to go to the block menu and look for the quote block, and press enter, and add a description about chapter. So this quote is a little bit big. I wanna change it to a smaller font. I will have to go to my block options menu. Now, if I want to change the quote size, I can do that right down here. But if I wanna open up this options menu quickly, use a shortcut, command forward slash. So forward slash for that block menu, and then command forward slash for the options menu. And then I can go down to quote size and change it to default. Let's say I want to change this header to a different text color. I can also do that with the keyboard inside the block, go forward slash and choose a color, maybe gray, and press enter. Or I could just bring up the color menu, forward slash color, and choose a different color. Like I said, you can quickly highlight a block with the escape key, and you can also navigate through blocks from here with the up and down arrow. I can also highlight multiple blocks at once, holding down shift while selecting my up and down arrow. And if I wanna move a particular block, I can hold down command shift and move my arrow up and down. If I want to duplicate a block, I can go command D for duplicate, if I want to delete a block quickly, I can use Command X. What I can also do is turn a block quickly into another block type. So I'm just gonna go forward slash into math. 
And this works for any block. Just type into and whatever block you want to turn it into. So with math, this is just KTEX language. Just a little tip for KTEX. If I type backslash text and put this text into brackets, it will give me a cleaner look. I could also change the type from text to text SF. I could also change the size of this math block backslash large and even change the color of this text with backslash color and in brackets I could either say blue or have a specific hex code like maybe hashtag a and five fives which gives me this nice dark red. Let's say inside of this paragraph I want to add a comment maybe to these two sentences here. I'm gonna highlight them and I can either select comment in my toolbar here or select Command Shift M and press enter. A new comment will show up in this little bubble. Now, if I wanna view all of the comments in my page quickly, I can bring up the right sidebar. A keyboard shortcut to open up the left sidebar is Command Backslash. To open up the right sidebar to look at all of your comments is command shift backslash. Inside of this chapter one page, what I want to do is create a toggle at the bottom for chapter two ideas. To create a toggle quickly, I'm going to use this symbol here and press space. Inside of this toggle, chapter two ideas. Just pressing enter will get me inside of this toggle. Dash, space, just like in Markdown, will give you a bullet point. Now what I wanna do with this chapter two text is actually make this a link. So if you remember, we are currently inside of the chapters database where we have chapter one. I don't yet have a page for chapter two. What I can do is add the chapter two page via the body of chapter one. So I can quickly create a link here. And what I recommend using is the plus symbol and quickly type chapter two. And I have two options. Like we went over before, you can create a sub page, but there's another option here called new chapter two page in dot, dot, dot. What we're gonna do is select that. And I'm gonna choose the database I wanna send this page to. In Suggested, we already have chapters. So let's just select that page. Now we did create a brand new page, but it is in the style of a mention via this arrow here, because this is not a sub page of chapter one, but rather we created a new page in the chapters database. This is really useful, but what's even more useful is if you have a database template, in this case, I have a template called new chapter. And this just gives the chapter an icon of a book. What I can do is just delete chapter two. I'm gonna go back to chapter one and delete this link as well. This time, let's apply that template. So plus chapter two, new page in, and instead of looking for chapters, I'm going to look for the name of the template, new chapter. And there we have add from template, new chapter, from the chapters database. And not only have I created a mentioned page, but that icon has also been applied. So let's go over to this Wikipedia page. I wanna copy and paste this paragraph or this sentence here that does have some formatted text. We have two links. I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard and go back to Notion. Now inside of this callout, if I paste it, I'd rather this just paste in plain text. There is a shortcut for this. Command V is to paste, of course, but Command Option Shift V will get rid of all of that formatting. I am going to eventually share this page with you guys. I can use a keyboard shortcut to quickly open up my share option here, which gives me this window to share to web. 
That's Command Shift I. I can share the web and copy this web link to my keyboard and put this inside of the description of this video, for instance, and you guys can take a look at it. There's also internal links. So that external link looks something like this. But there's also an internal link, and I can use a shortcut to copy that link, Command L, and you'll see a pop-up that says link to current page copy to clipboard. Paste that in, and that looks a little bit different. It's a link that's only going to be accessible if you're logged in or you're a member of this workspace. I can also copy the link of a specific block. So inside of my reference page, under by block type, I want to have a little message to also see the tab block style for more options. All I need is just my cursor in here, Alt Shift L, and that has been copied to my clipboard. Come down here and say C, and I'm going to paste that in and select mention block. See block style for more options. And if I click block style link, it should send me back to that block. Lastly, you'll notice there's a lot of toggles here. If I want to open them all at once, there is a keyboard shortcut for that as well. And this also works for grouped databases if you're curious. So the keyboard shortcut is command option T for toggle. And then I can just press that again to close them all as well. I hope you guys found this useful. I always wanted to create a video of just Notion shortcuts, but couldn't figure out a way to make it engaging and actually useful for the viewer because you can just look up all of these keyboard shortcuts on Notion's website. My aim was for these use cases to sort of bring these shortcuts into a more practical space so that you have a good idea of how to use them yourself. If you're surprised by any of these shortcuts that you didn't know existed, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter and next time with a new video. I'll see you then.